Your Artist of the Week is Bob Ross. He was born in 1942 and he died in 1995. And there he is with one of his paintings. You might have actually seen Bob Ross on PBS or KQED stations. He hosted a TV show called The Joy of Painting, where he would teach you how to paint. And he's kind of had a resurgent recently in the last few years of popular culture. People really like his calm voice. He's very cheerful, happy, he's very playful when he talks about his paintings, and people do actually, you know, they like watching him paint, and it is really interesting to see how he's able to create a pretty convincing landscape in about 30 minutes. Here's one of his other paintings. So he developed a style um, where he would layer different colors on top of each other. So when you watch his his series, you'll start to notice that he uses a similar paint color palette, um, different kind of brushes, but very similar styles in terms of how he makes the trees, the grass, the mountains, and he does work with oil paint. So keep that in mind. If you really like the way that he paints and you want to recreate what he does, it's easier if you're working with oil paint because that does make it easier to get all these subtle blends. If you use acrylic paint or tempera paint, it's going to be a lot harder to recreate this. And all of his works are done using layerings where they would he would start with the background, which is the sky, then the clouds. He would work from the backward to the front. Here's another example. And you can see his his compositions are well balanced, um, not necessarily symmetrically balanced, usually asymmetrically balanced, right? There's always be a couple trees in the front to give a sense of depth. Right? We understand that these trees are closest to us and this huge mountain and the water and the trees, they're farther away. And he's, again, very convincingly uh, talented at doing that. Another landscape. So yes, most of his works are of landscapes, but there are some Joy of Painting episodes hosted by his one of his sons or other people that painted in the similar style of Bob Ross. So Bob Ross was an American painter, an art instructor, and a TV show host. So he created and hosted a show called The Joy of Painting. That aired from, eight, from 1983 to 1994 on PBS, and you can still see it on reruns. The show has aired in Canada, Latin America, and parts of Europe. And he actually began as a TV personality in the 1980s and 90s, and he became an internet personality in the 21st century, especially on YouTube. Yes, there is a Bob Ross YouTube channel. So if you want to check out what he does, search for him on YouTube. As a child, Bob Ross cared for injured animals, uh, such as an armadillo, a snake, and a squirrel. At age 18, Bob Ross enlisted in the U.S. Air Force and he worked as a medical records technician. He served as first sergeant, and that's where he saw uh, snow and mountains. So that's probably where he kind of got an understanding of the way light works with snow. And with his paintings, he developed a quick painting technique uh, where he would create art for sale during brief daily work breaks. So when he was in the US Air Force and he, how he was on his work breaks, he would take that time to paint you know, as a way to relax. And when he left the military, he decided, decided to never yell or raise his voice again because the military requires one to be tough and mean. Like, you have to be very aggressive. And for him, he decided, you know what? I'm not going to yell and I'm not going to raise my voice again. So that's kind of why when he talks in his joy of painting, it's kind of a quiet, a more quiet voice. Um, he, his, the type of uh, technique he used is called wet on wet where you put wet paint on the canvas and then you put more wet paint on top and that allows the blending to happen. So it's called wet on wet oil painting. He would create three paintings for his piece. He would create one to reference during the TV filming that would be off screen. So when he was making his painting during the TV show, he was looking at what he completed and a completed version was created for his instructional books. So he did sell books and painting sets. You can actually still buy them. You can still buy his paint and his, and his kits and whatnot uh, for his instructional books so you can learn how to paint like him. And then there was the painting that we would see that was created on TV. 